Eugenie Clark, The Biography for Kids. In the heart of New York City, on a bright day in May 1922, a little girl named Eugenie Clark opened her eyes to the world. The city's hustle and bustle were a far cry from the serene depths of the oceans she would come to love, but her journey was just beginning. Growing up, Eugenie's weekends were filled with wonder. Every Saturday, she would make her way to the New York Aquarium at Battery Park. As she peered into the tanks, her imagination would dive deep into the underwater realms, swimming alongside the colorful fish and majestic sharks. The cool, damp air of the aquarium, tinged with the salty scent of the ocean, would envelop her, making her feel as if she were a part of this magical underwater world. The marine world was not just a spectacle for Eugenie, it was a calling. She could almost feel the gentle sway of the ocean currents and the soft touch of seaweed as she imagined herself swimming with the fish. The distant, muffled sounds she heard in the aquarium reminded her of what it might be like to be underwater, where every sound is both amplified and muted. One day, while lost in the mesmerizing world of the aquarium, Eugenie stumbled upon a book about the adventures of naturalist William Beebe. His tales of exploring the deep seas further ignited her passion. She dreamt of not just observing, but understanding the mysteries of marine life. The thought of diving deep into the ocean, feeling the pressure of the water around her, and being surrounded by the vastness of the marine world filled her with a mix of excitement and reverence. As a teenager, her connection to the marine world deepened, the sensation of water against her skin, the rhythmic sound of her breathing while diving, and the thrill of coming face to face with a shark were experiences that left her in awe. Sharks, with their sleek forms and sharp features, were not creatures to be feared, but to be respected and understood. Their graceful movements and the way they navigated their surroundings fascinated her. The ocean scent, a blend of salt and mystery, became a perfume she wore with pride. Eugenie's school reports were a testament to her growing love for marine science. She wrote about the fascinating creatures of the deep, and her teachers were often amazed by her depth of knowledge and enthusiasm. Her classmates would listen in awe as she shared stories of her weekend adventures at the aquarium and her personal encounters with the marine world. As the years passed, Eugenie's dreams grew bigger. She determinedly pursued her studies diving into the world of ichthyology, the study of fish. Her dedication was unwavering, and she soon became a pioneer in using scuba diving for research. But Eugenie's journey was not just about science, it was about storytelling. She shared her discoveries with the world, dispelling myths about sharks and promoting marine conservation. She became affectionately known as the Shark Lady for her extensive research on these magnificent creatures. Throughout her life, Eugenie embarked on numerous expeditions, diving deep into the oceans, discovering new species, and understanding the intricate behaviors of marine life. She authored books, shared her knowledge on television, and even contributed to the creation of the first IMAX film about marine life. Eugenie's legacy is a testament to her love for the oceans and her dedication to understanding and conserving marine life. Her passion and curiosity have inspired countless individuals to view the underwater world with wonder and respect. Thank you for diving into this incredible journey with us. If you enjoyed this tale, subscribe to my channel and visit my Amazon author page where you'll find more captivating stories of remarkable individuals who have shaped our world. Together, let's continue exploring and celebrating greatness. Bye.